dear students i am dr shiba in this video we are going to see about soil microorganisms soil microbiology is a branch of microbiology concerned with the study of all biological aspects of the life that exist in the soil environment soil is a biologically active porous medium it serves as a reservoir of water and nutrients participant in the cycling of carbon nitrogen and other elements through the ecosystem microorganisms in soil are important because they affect soil structure and fertility types of microorganisms present in soil mainly bacteria fungi actinomycetes algae protozoa and viruses can be observed in soil in this first predominant microbes are bacteria most of the species of bacteria are decomposers that consume simple carbon and nitrogen compounds such as root exudates many bacterial species in the soil can degrade pesticides plastics etc some species can fix atmospheric nitrogen solubilize phosphorus and enhance the growth of the plants another group of bacteria are phytopathogens and they can cause diseases plant growth promoting rhizobacteria promote plant growth the bacterium bacillus thuringiensis produces crystal proteins which are toxic to nematodes and insects but non toxic towards vertebrates bacteria are capable to solubilize insoluble inorganic phosphate compounds such as tricalcium phosphate dicalcium phosphate hydroxyl apatite and rock phosphate example for this type of bacterial species are pseudomonas bacillus acromobacter etc next group of organisms are soil fungi they are second type of microorganisms present in soil they are very successful inhabitants of soil fungi convert dead organic matter into simpler ones many species of fungi possess the ability to act as an effective biosorbent of toxic metals such as cadmium copper mercury lead and zinc soil fungi can be classified into three functional groups first one is biological controllers they regulate diseases and pests second group of fungi are ecosystem regulators they are responsible for soil structure formation and modification of habitats for other organisms example agaricus third one are species participating in organic matter decomposition and compound transformations example aspergillus rhizopus etc fungi prefer slightly acidic conditions phytophthora rhizoctonia pythium dominate in agricultural soils next group of organisms are actinomycetes they are gram positive they are known for decomposing more resistant organic materials such as chitin a complex sugar found in the outer skeleton of insects actinomycetes play major roles in the cycling of organic matter inhibit the growth of several plant pathogens in the rhizosphere and decompose complex mixtures they were evaluated for their antifungal activity sidrophore production and phosphate solubilization activities example streptomyces actinospica algae and cyanobacteria the algal flora of the soil includes members of the chlorophycophyta euglenophycophyta chrysophycophyta and rhodophycophyta algae are photosynthetic and present on surface and subsurface in farmlands soil algae and cyanobacteria play an important role 
soil algae excrete growth promoting substances such as hormones vitamins amino acids and organic acids the polysaccharides produced by some soil algae increase soil porosity aggregation and water holding capacity example for those type of algae are chlamydomonas chlorella cnidesmus next protozoa protozoa play an important role in mineralizing nutrients making them available for use by plants flagellates group are very common in soil protozoa are found near the surface of the soil particularly in the upper 15 cm in the cyst stage many species can withstand harsh environmental conditions and persist for many years until conditions improve last group of microorganisms present in soil are viruses soil borne viruses that are pathogens of plants can have deleterious effects These plant viruses can exist either freely or in association with soil inhabiting vector organisms such as nematodes or other microorganisms.